Good night. It is 9.20. Oh, I haven't even got my glasses on. 37. And I've had the busiest day today that I've ever had in a very long time. Not only it was physical too. I woke up expecting an electrician to come. I thought the oven that I have here, our Housing 21 supply laundry room we pay for these services in with our rent and ovens and kitchens belong to the landlord not us and mine blew the lights the other day and the manager came in and took photographs anyway I thought I was getting a repair job but I got I, I had to I didn't know I was going out I had no idea this morning that I was going anywhere and uh, I did have to rush out. It was quite amazing, really, because I wasn't even ready to rush out. And um, I was expecting this repair job to be done. In fact, while I was out, the engineer came and replaced the oven and cooker, because the hob's separate. That was new last year. With a brand new oven, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't even know how to work it yet. I haven't even had time to read the instructions. But it's sitting there looking beautiful. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> I'll enjoy using that. It's really, really fabulous. And so I was going to give my keys to the manager because she works till half two from half eight. And she said, oh, it's all right. She'll use her master key. Well, the minute I got in here, I knew... <laughs> That because she, she, they couldn't get that oven through the door, front door, without moving stuff. Stuff was moved into the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen. Oh, everywhere was turned upside down. And one of the windows was wide open, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all, because you know, there's people in and out all the time in the garden. Right, what happened? I've now got a new one of these. The last one was from when I lived in Manchester. It's when you have a, a heart heart pains and I'm under I was under a specialist and he gave me this is a different type, it's glycerol trin trinitrate, whatever it is. This is a slightly different name one, but it's the same thing. But my date on it was twenty fifteen. I haven't looked to see what date this says on here. Uh it would probably say on the bottom, yeah, 03 2026, so that's okay till then. But I hadn't been using it, but I've kept it for an emergency, and I didn't have any, which was good, because the uh, this specialist wanted me to keep taking statins. They made me feel so ill. I said, I can't take them, I can't, and I couldn't go in the heart machine. I went halfway through, and they said, no, I can't. So he said, I'll leave you to your GP. Well, I never bothered. And because two of my children are coming to see me out of the four, not the adopted ones, on my birthday, and I know that one of them's got the potential to give me a heart attack. <laughs> I haven't seen her since 99. Uh, maybe she's changed, I don't know. And uh, I thought I'd better prepare myself. <laughs> but the doctor, I rung up asking to see a particular doctor and they were sort of saying to me, oh, well, well, we'll decide. And I said, if I can't see him, I don't want to see anybody then. Thank you very much. And I got a phone call asking me to go to the next village. By 10 o'clock, I said, I've got to catch a bus. Anyway, I rushed, got myself ready, said something to the manager and caught a bus. And I got there at 10 but my appointment was at half ten, 10 because I didn't think I could get there. And he's given me some of these. And it's fexofenadine hydroxychloride film coated tablets. Fexofenadine, Dr. Reddy's. Because, you know, I keep complaining about this in my throat. And he says he has the same thing and he takes these himself. So... It's, it's to help with all this, the cold won't go and the phlegm is there and the throat is funny. So hopefully, I've only taken one. Um, I'll better read the leaflet a second time. 
because I didn't have time to read it more than once. You know, had to take it before food. So that that should get me better soon. And uh, then I had to rearrange everything in here to make it look a bit normal. Do everything. And, and I've only just finished. Just finished now. Oh, I did go shopping to Lidl. And walked home and everything. And uh, I ha I did so much today. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely worn out. But I, I have to do the mass readings. So that's what I'm going to do for liturgical readings for Wednesday 13th of September 2023 and uh, we're on the 23rd week ordinary time oh I miss this saint I'll have to record his life another day I like him Saint John Chrysostom Bishop and Doctor of the Church and uh, I'll do one or two prayers before I begin but not lots and lots because um, it's quarter to ten in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O oh Mother, on the vast numbers of babies not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims, of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new. The joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Amen. That's I've got this cold. Excuse me a moment. It's not left me and I'm hoping this medication will help me because it's really inconvenient. I'm sorry, but it, at night it is worse. I'm hoping that this new treatment well i haven't had any treatment except homemade <laughs> and nothing has worked <coughs> so before reading sacred scripture open my heart O holy spirit to receive your inspired word grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead Amen. So the first reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 3, 1 to 11. The theme, you have died with Christ. That is why you must kill everything in you that belongs only to earthly life. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not of the things that are on earth, because you have died and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, 
and he is your life. You too will be revealed in all your glory with him. You'll be glorified with Christ. That is why you must kill everything in you that belongs only to earthly life. Fornication, impurity, guilty passion, evil desires and especially greed which is the same thing as worshipping a false god. All this is the sort of behaviour that makes God angry and it is the way in which you used to live when you were surrounded by people doing the same thing. But now you, of all people, must give all these things up. Getting angry, being bad-tempered, spitefulness, abusive language and dirty talk. And never tell each other lies. You have stripped off your old behaviour with your old self and you have put on a new self which will progress towards true knowledge the more it is renewed in the image of its creator and in that image there is no room for distinction between Greek and Jew between circumcised or the uncircumcised, or between barbarian and Scythian slave and free man. There is only Christ. He is everything and he is in everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 144 and your response. How good is the Lord to all. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. How good is the Lord to all. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. How good is the Lord to all. To make known to men your mighty deeds, and the glorious splendour of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. How good is the Lord to all. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from Luke 6, verses 20 to 26. Glory to you, O Lord. And the theme, how happy are you who are poor, but alas for you who are rich. Fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, How happy 
are you who are poor. Yours is the kingdom of God. Happy you who are hungry now, you shall be satisfied. Happy you who weep now, you shall laugh. Happy are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy, for then your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have your fill now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who laugh now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when the world speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this Wednesday, 23rd week in ordinary time, we'll look at Luke 6, 20 to 26. It does seem strange to our ears that Jesus should declare the poor, the hungry, and those who weep happy or blessed. Surely it makes more sense to declare them unfortunate or miserable. So often, when Jesus says, and what he says, seems to go against how we would normally think. He prompts us, to think again, to begin to see things from his point of view, from God's point of view. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus does not declare the poor blessed because of their poverty or the hungry blessed because of their hunger. Jesus declares them blessed in virtue of the promises that God makes to them. They will receive the kingdom. They will be satisfied. They will love. God intends that their present condition will be reversed. And God will see to it that it is. And that is why they are blessed. So when is this? reversal to happen. The teaching of Jesus in Luke's Gospel makes clear that this reversal should begin to happen here and now in the present and God's vision should not have to wait until the next life before it comes to pass. Lazarus should not have had to wait until after death to be fed. The church, the family of disciples, is called to work for the coming of God's just vision today. We are to become more fully people through whom God's great promises to those in greatest need, will begin to come to pass in this earthly life. So he wants to live, us to live, as described by him, um, that we can have that joy and happiness and what we're seeking here and now in the spirit He's talking in spiritual terms. Of course, he wants people to be physically fed, but he was trying to feed them in both ways. And through the miracles, they were fed, but he was more interested in the spiritual feeding of them 
and for them to have that understanding. But remember, the times then were very different than now. There's no comparison. Human beings are still the same in their behaviour and uh, none of that changes. But Christ himself and God himself can change us. We can't change ourselves only when we submit to Jesus. And that is through prayer, adoration, um, devotions and staying as close as possible. And, and learning more about one's faith and and being faithful in your... F I mean, for example, today, there was no way I didn't want to uh, read the scriptures or I haven't been able to look at the masses. Well, I can look at them later if I want. They're out there. They're recorded, uh, the churches that I listen to. But I, I still... I find a day like this when I'm not doing as many devotions very difficult. I find it more difficult to cope with an ordinary day that I've had today where so much to do. I actually prefer when I'm quiet, when I'm praying prayers, going through prayer folders, books, religious stuff. I'd rather be doing that 24 hours a day than what I had to do today. I mean... I just didn't have time to stop at all, you know, to do it. It was like on the go, on the go. I couldn't do that every day. I no way I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I found it exceedingly, really, really tough. <laughs> you probably do that all the time, but I don't, I don't like. I, li I like what I'm doing right now. In fact, I'm going to see what folder I've got behind me to see which one I pull across this is butler's lives of the saints believe it or not this is on the saints the guardian angels so i actually might read some of that uh, i picked this one up first so whatever the other one was it was probably prayers but this i like the subject this is butler's lives of the saints the guardian angels so i'll share some of that with you rather than chat to you so, this is, was, was typed uh, for 2nd of October, which is coming up, so it's topical soon. Another f couple of weeks or so, isn't it? Well, we're sort of middle of um, September. So this will be for the 2nd of October. Angels, Dios, messengers are pure spirits. Persons. See, I not only read, I type this up. So it's not just been read. I've typed it too, so I can read it. But I still don't. The books that have arrived this week, the fonts are too small for me. Um, just would give me headaches. Oh, another thing, I've got to get this right eye done. The the doctor was quite firm. I must go back to the optician and get referred to the where I'm going to have the operation on. That must be done. He, I can't leave it any longer because he read he read the, uh, the the report that they give you when they do you. He said I could go blind, but I'm terrified. But I'm also terrified of having my eye done because I'm claustrophobic. But he told me I must see about it because you don't want to wait till there's an accident or an emergency with the other eye. I could, he told me I could go blind, and I thought, oh dear, dear, dear panic stations so I'm please pray that I can I have to talk to the surgeon he said before ever I go and have the operation because I'm so scared of um, a reaction because of my claustrophobia he said my whole face will be covered well that will drive me mental <laughs> I might jump up out of the chair or something oh dear I was locked in a car oh but I've not got over that. So let me continue about angels. Pure spirits, persons but bodiless, created by God, with more acute intelligence and greater power than have human beings, so they're superior to us. Their office is to praise God, to be his messengers, and to watch over man, that's you and me and all our loved ones and even our enemies have guardian angels. 
that particular angels are appointed and commanded by God to guard each particular person that is born into the world is the general teaching of theologians. But the belief has not been defined by the church. And so, because it's not defined by the church, it is not faith. But we, nevertheless, we Catholics believe it. Excuse me, sorry. So, it's not part of our faith, but we still teach it and we still believe it. So, these guardian angels, which we all have one from birth, lead the individual towards heaven by defending him from evil. Helping him, in, that means her as well, but it's only been written with, into the mail, <laughs> in prayer. Suggesting virtuous deeds, but acting upon the senses and imagination. Not directly on the will, so that our cooperation is required. The psalmist assures us, he hath given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And in another place, the angel of the Lord shall encamp round about them that fear him and shall deliver them to the patriarch. Jacob prayed his good angel to bless his two grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh. The angel that delivereth me from all evils Bless these boys. Judith said, His angel hath been my keeper, both going hence and abiding there, and returning from thence hither. Christ deters us from scandalising any of his little ones, because their angels always behold the face of God. And they will demand punishment of God against any by whose malice those who are their wards suffer harm. So certain and general was the belief of a guardian angel being assigned to everyone by God that when St. Peter was miraculously de delivered out of prison the disciples could not at first believe it and said, It is his angel. From early time, liturgical honour was paid to all angels in the office of the dedication of the church of St. Michael the Archangel in Via Salaria on September the 29th and in the oldest extant Roman sacramentary called Leonine, the prayers for the feast make indirect reference to them as individual guardians. A votive mass, Missa and Ad Suffragia Angelorum Postulanda, has been in use at least from the time of Aleun, who died in 804, who refers to the subject twice in his letters. Whether the practice of celebrating such a Mass originated in England is not too clear, but we find Alcuin's text in the Leofric Mass of the early 10th century. This votive mass of the angels was commonly allotted to the second day of the week. Monday is the second day, Sunday is the first day. As for example, in the Westminster um, Missal, written about the year 1375, in Spain, it became customary to honour the guardian angels, not only of persons, but of cities. You often see big angels over certain cities, especially in the, in the South American and Spanish-type countries. They, they love the angels. 
and provinces. An office of this sort was composed for Valencia in 1411. Bishop of Rodez obtained from Pope Leo X a bull in 1518 which approved a special office for an annual commemoration of the guardian angels on March the 1st. In England also, there seems to have been much devotion to them. Herbert Lossinger, Bishop of Norwich, who died in 1119, speaks eloquently on the subject and the well-known invocation beginning Angele Dei Ki Custos et Mii is apparently traceable to the verse, say, verse writer Reginald of Canterbury at about the same period. Pope Paul V authorised a special mass and office and at the request of Ferdinand II of Austria, granted the feast to the whole empire. And Pope Clement X extended it to the Western Church at large as of obligation in 1670, and fixed it for the present date being the first free day after the feast of St. Michael. And you know the prayer to St. Michael, which we've already done this evening, so I won't um, do that right now. I'll do the litany instead. Litany of St. Michael, very important saint, especially if you have problems. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ hear us, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, the Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Michael, abundant font of divine wisdom, Pray for us. Saint Michael, most perfect adorer of the divine word, pray for us. Saint Michael, whom God crowned with honour and glory, pray for us. Saint Michael, most powerful prince of the heavenly host, pray for us. Saint Michael, standard bearer of the most holy trinity, pray for us. Saint Michael, guardian of paradise, pray for us. Saint Michael, guide and consoler of the people of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, splendor and fortitude of the church, militant, pray for us. Saint Michael, honor and joy of the church, triumphant, pray for us. Saint Michael, light of the angels, pray for us. Saint Michael, protection of the Orthodox people, pray for us. Saint Michael, strength of those who fight under the standard of the cross, pray for us. Saint Michael, light and hope of souls near death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our most sure aid, pray for us. Saint Michael, help us in our adversities, pray for us. Saint Michael, consoler of souls languishing in purgatory, pray for us. Saint Michael, receiver of the souls of the elect after death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our prince, pray for us. Saint Michael, our defender, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, Saint Michael the Archangel, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, 
May your continual blessing sanctify us and grant us through the intercession of Saint Michael the wisdom that teaches us to lay up our treasures in heaven and choose eternal goods over those of this world. Thou who lives and reigns for ever. Amen. Prayers to Saint Michael the Archangel and other angels. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our defence against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And that was A, now B is short. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle, that we perish not in the fear of judgment. Amen. And C, O God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name, and humbly beseech thee thy clemency that through the intercession of the ever immaculate virgin and our mother mary and the glorious archangel saint michael thou wouldst vouchsafe to help us against satan and all other unclean spirits who are prowling about the world to the great peril of the human race and the loss of souls amen and d O God, who in wondrous order dost ordain and constitute the service of men and angels, mercifully grant that our life may be defended on earth by them that stand near thee, evermore ministering to thee in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And E, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this night be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And F seems very long. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle and in the fearful warfare that we are waging against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, Against the evil spirits, come thou to the assistance of men, whom Almighty God created immortal, making men then in his own image and likeness, and redeeming them at a great price. From the tyranny of Satan, fight this day and night the battle of the Lord with thy legions of holy angels, even as of old thou didst fight against Lucifer, the leader of the proud spirits and all his rebel angels who were powerless to stand against thee. Neither was their place found any more in heaven and that apostate angel transformed into an angel of darkness who still creeps about the earth to encompass our ruin was cast headlong into the abyss together with his followers. But behold, the first enemy of mankind and a murderer from the beginning has regained his confidence, changing himself into an angel of light. <laughs> he goes about with the whole multitude of the wicked spirits to invade the earth and blot out the name of God and of his Christ, to plunder, to slay and to consign to eternal damnation the souls that have been destined for a crown of everlasting life. This wicked serpent, like an unclean torrent, pours into men of depraved minds and corrupt hearts the poison of his malice, the spirit of lying, impiety and blasphemy, and the deadly breath of impurity and every form of vice and iniquity. These crafty enemies of mankind filled to overflowing with gall and wormwood the church which is the bride of the lamb without spot 
they have laid profane hands upon her most sacred treasures. Make haste, therefore, O invincible prince, to help the people of God against the inroads of the lost spirits and grant us the victory. Amen. Deliverance Prayers to St. Michael the Archangel and other angels. A. Holy Ar Michael Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defence against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Be St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle, that we perish not in the fear of judgment. Amen. Prayers against the powers of darkness, invocation to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast down to hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Litany prayers. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christen eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Or, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. All holy apostles, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. And the names of the other saints blessed, and may they be added, all your favourite saints, from all evil, Lord, we pray, deliver us. From every sin, Lord, we pray, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, Lord, we pray, deliver us. From everlasting death, Lord, we pray, deliver us. Litany of the Saints Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ have mercy on us Christ have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All ye holy angels and archangels, pray for us. All ye holy orders of blessed spirits, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All ye holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. Saint Peter, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Thomas, pray for us. Saint Philip, pray for us. Saint Bartholomew, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. All my listeners, pray for them. Saint Simon, pray for us. Saint Thaddeus, pray for us. Saint Matthias, pray for us. Saint Barnabas, pray for us. Saint Luke, pray for us. Saint Mark, pray for us. All ye holy apostles and evangelists, pray for us. All ye holy innocents, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. Saints John and Paul, pray for us. Saint Cosmas and Damian, pray for us. Saint Gervais and Proteus, pray for us. 
All ye holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Nicholas, pray for us. All ye holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. All ye holy doctors, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. All ye holy priests and Levites, pray for us. All ye holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Catherine, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. All ye holy virgins and widows, pray for us. All ye holy saints of God, make intercession for us. Be merciful, spare us, O Lord. Be merciful, graciously hear us, O Lord. From all evil, O Lord, deliver us. From thy wrath, O Lord, deliver us. From sudden and unlooked for death, O Lord, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, O Lord, deliver us. From anger and hatred and every evil will, O Lord, deliver us. From the spirit of fornication, O Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, O Lord, deliver us. From the scourge of earthquakes, particularly in Morocco and places like that, O Lord, deliver them and deliver us. From plague, famine and war, war in Ukraine and Russia, O Lord, deliver us. From everlasting death, O Lord, deliver us. Through the mystery of thy holy incarnation, O Lord, deliver us. Through thy coming, O Lord, deliver us. Through thy birth, O Lord, deliver us. Through thy baptism and holy fasting, O Lord, deliver us. Fasting, deliver us. Through thy cross and passion, O Lord, deliver us. Through thy death and burial, O Lord, deliver us. Through thy holy resurrection, O Lord, deliver us. Through thine admirable ascension, O Lord, deliver us. Through the coming of the Holy Ghost, the paraclete, O Lord, deliver us. We sinners, we beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst spare us. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst pardon us. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst bring us to true penance. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst bring us to true penance. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to govern and preserve thy holy church. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to preserve our apostolic prelate and all orders of the church in holy religion we beseech thee hear us that thou wouldst vouchsafe to humble the enemies of holy church and some of them are within cast them out we beseech thee hear us that thou wouldst vouchsafe to give peace and true concord to whatever christian kings and princes remain and queens, we beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to grant peace and unity to the whole Christian world, what is left of it. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst call back to the unity of the church all who have strayed from her fold and to guide all unbelievers into the light of the gospel. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to confirm and preserve us in thy holy service. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst lift up our minds to heavenly desires. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst render eternal blessings to all our benefactors. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst deliver our souls and the souls of our brethren, relations and benefactors, from eternal damnation. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to give and preserve the fruits of the earth. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe to grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed and those who are dying now. We beseech thee, hear us, that thou wouldst vouchsafe graciously to hear us. We beseech thee, hear us, Son of God, we beseech thee, hear us, Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Consecration prayer to the Trinity. Father, I love thee. May I live and die within thine embrace, with thy grateful love, joyful hope, and childlike trust. May I lovingly drink from the chalice that thou offerest me today. Accomplish within me thy heart's desire, for thou art my loving and good Father, most sacred heart of Jesus, through the immaculate heart of thy loving Mother. I consecrate myself to thee in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Transform my heart by allowing thy thoughts, thy will and thy love to be my life. Jesus, take possession of my whole being that thou mayest love thy Father through me, with me and in me for thou art my faithful spouse. 2 Corinthians 11.2 Holy Spirit, I adore thee. Thou art all love, wisdom, power, holiness and truth. Reveal the Father's will to me, that through thy strength and consolation I may embrace his will with love, accomplishing all that thou ask of me today, tonight, tomorrow. Take possession of my mind, heart, soul, body, memory and will. May I respond with joy, interior silence and mortification, so as to be thy sacred dwelling place. To Our Lady Mother, I consecrate myself to thy immaculate heart. Jesus said, Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. I surrender my entire life into thy hands, united with Jesus, the priest and victim. I ask thee to form me more and more each day into the likeness of thy Son. Create in me a heart that I may always love, Holy Mother Church. Mother, I accept with love all suffering from the chalice of the Father. I unite it with all my life to thy fiat at the Annunciation. I promise never to leave thee standing alone at the foot of the cross as my mother receive me into thine immaculate heart as a victim of divine love. May the blessed Trinity pour forth through thine immaculate heart all the grace is necessary for me to remain steadfast and faithful to this consecration. Mother, as Queen of all hearts, please summon the holy angels and saints to assist me in this call. To God be the glory. Amen. And the priest would say, I offer to God the blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the piercing of the spear and the nails and the thorns and the lash for all my listeners and all those who need Christ. I ask Jesus Christ to take dominion of them and him or her, their heart, spirit, soul, body, mind. memory, imagination, intellect, will, dreams, inner thoughts, subliminal thoughts, touch, taste, smell, sight, hearing, stomach, blood, healthy bacteria, immune system, nervous system and all other internal processes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. After the reconsecration to Jesus and Mary, 
If we had a priest here, may he anoint the persons with the sign of the cross. And with the exorcised holy oil, the top of the head, bottoms of both feet, the forehead, eyelids, ears, the back of the neck, the utter sternum, the palms of both hands and the shoulders. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from thee. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for ever. Amen. Litany of humility, O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honoured, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire, that in the opinion of the world others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me <coughs> the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, Prayers for humility, A, O Lord of glory, O God of infinite sanctity, who am I that thou shouldst deign to come to me? The heavens are not pure in thy sight, and wilt thou dwell in my heart, Lord? I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof. The consciousness of my unworthiness would prompt me to explain. Exclaim, depart from me, O Lord, for I am a sinner. But thy pressing invitation to approach thy holy table encourages me and dispels all my fears. Here I am, for thou didst call me. Come then, O Jesus, take possession of my heart that wishes to belong to thee. 
Create a clean heart in me, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Have mercy on me, O God, and according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my iniquity. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. B. He who comes to me, who is the judge of the living and the dead, before him the pillars of heaven tremble, and the pure angels veil their faces with their wings. Whither shall I flee from his face? Two places are safe for me, depths of my misery and the heart of my judge. In them will I hide myself. O oh my God, I detest all the sins of my whole life because they displease thee. And especially I am sorry for those which I have committed against the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist by my irreverence and the little profit I have drawn from so many communions, by my negligence in guarding my senses, particularly my tongue, which has been so often consecrated by thy divine presence. My Lord and my God, what confusion I feel at beholding myself so unworthy to approach thy holy table. Suffer me, dear Jesus, to seek the remedy for my evils in the wound of thy sacred heart. Let thy sacred heart be to me as the burning coal which purified the lips of Isaiah's. Place it all inflamed with charity. I beseech thee, dear Lord, on my heart, my tongue, my senses and all the powers of my soul, so that it may burn and annihilate all that is displeasing to thee. Jesus, Jesus, be present to me. Jesus and save me. Remember thou hast said the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. They that are in health need not a physician, but they that are sick, I am not come to call the just, but the sinners. Dear Lord, I am sick, I am sinful, as thou knowest. Come to me and say, I am thy salvation. Grant me, O Lord, the grace of beginning a new fervent life and deign to give me in this holy sacrament the pledge of eternal life promised to those who receive thee worthily. Amen. See, O heart most pure of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Obtain for me from Jesus a pure and humble heart. Amen. D. O God, who resistest the proud and givest grace to the humble, grant us the virtue of true humility, whereof of thine only begotten Son showed in himself a pattern for thy faithful, that we may never by our pride provoke thine anger but rather by our meekness receive the riches of thy grace. Amen. E, O loving and gracious infant Jesus, how full of love for us poor mortals is thy divine heart. The fire of thy love is burning day and night emitting sparks of grace in the shape of countless benefits showered on all men, even the greatest sinners. In order to comprehend the greatness of thy little heart, one would have to possess the love and wisdom of thy dear mother, or Saint Joseph, or of thy most devoted worship of Father Cyril. How cold is my heart toward thee! filled as it is with temporal and earthly concerns and the greatest self-love. There is no room left for a heroic love of God and my neighbour. What a miserable and wretched being.
being I am. Thou infinite majesty itself, most holy and most perfect art, most humble of heart. I, all wretchedness and sin, am proud and conceited and therefore also without peace of heart. Thou shouldst verily turn away thy beautiful countenance from me because I possess so little virtue. And yet I consider myself better than others and even venture to criticise and belittle them. I know my own misery and still I expect to be esteemed and praised and even preferred to others. The least humiliation and neglect on the part of others pains me and thou art so humble, so forbearing and so patient with the children of men. Divine heart of my most loving Jesus, infuse into me true humility and a right knowledge of myself so that I may deserve to find one day in favour thy sight. Give me grace to be humble and simple like a child if I wish to go to the Father. Amen. Prayer for Grandparents by Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, St. Joachim and Anne, Parents of Mary, Grandparents. O oh Jesus, bless all families. Bless all grandchildren. Lord Jesus, you were born of the Virgin Mary, the daughter of Saints Joachim and Anne. Look with love on grandparents the world over. Protect them. They are a source of enrichment for families, for the church and for all of society. Support them as they grow older. May they continue to be for their families strong pillars of the gospel faith, guardians of noble domestic traditions. Make them teachers of wisdom and courage that they may pass on to future generations the fruits of their mature human and spiritual experience. Lord Jesus, help families and society to value the presence and roles of grandparents. May they never be ignored or excluded, but always encounter respect and love. Help them to live serenely and to feel welcomed in all the years of life which you give them. Mary, mother of all the living, keep grandparents constantly in your care. Accompany them on their earthly pilgrimage and by your prayers grant that all families may one day be reunited in our heavenly homeland where you await all humanity for the great embrace of life without end. Amen. And there's a Catholic association, WW, three W's, Catholic Grandparents Association dot org. God bless you all. If you're still there, I just didn't know where to stop. That's me all over again. Sorry. That's how it is. I, I'd love to know when to stop, but I just keep going because that's how it is. So good night and God bless. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And it must be morning in Australia, but it's night here. And I don't know where it is in the rest of the world. So God bless you all. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you've spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture and the prayers. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. Amen. 
So at least I got through something this evening. I had planned to do more, but I, I, once I would have finished, I wouldn't have done a second one, I don't think, because I actually was physically, physically really, really on the go from early morning until now. God bless you and thank you for all your messages. Good night. God bless.